Okay, so turn 21 already. In Norway. Did I process the turn? I don't think I did. I went to break and I didn't process the turn. Anyway, it doesn't take too long. So, we're raiding the coastline here of Sweden. Or parts of Sweden, I guess. See if they can stop us. And we're making... Uh, we're throwing insults around to, to everybody in the area so we can raid their coastlines. Because apparently they won't raid unless they're, you know, not your friend. Tamaris Barabad has boldly insulted uh, Swanor of Denmark, accusing him of lacking both courage and wisdom. That's an insult. So to that guy, Jutland, he's like, he's suggesting he's but a coward murderer. It's also blah blah blah, the skein, wallowing. Sorry, he's naming him a pig wallowing in the mud. That's a good one. Unless, of course, you're a pig. This now has received a progress token and is now standing at pro three progress tokens. Lord, despite the harbor's our nation uh, possesses. We are unable to produce enough sail ships as trading goods to transport our troops effectively. Okay. Here, some more food. Population a little bit faster. We have authority. Uh, blah blah blah. Granted lands to noble land orders from Shetland. Did I? Say so. Uh, Nordmark, competent noble authority, has ordered the construction of t a timber keep in an effort to fortify the region, so temporary structure. Did some more raiding. Defenses were crushed, pillaged, and plundered followed. So what are we exactly getting with pillage and stuff? They have an army here now. Stop us, maybe. There's a certain uh, region Finn for the benefit of Norway. Oh, so that's a claim down there. Then we found some legitimate ownership deeds. Harold of uh, Norway is requesting holding out there. Wow, got lucky. Two claims. this neutral so if these guys are not super so these are all negative so we can raid them random raid there see how that works need more metal So we can make more ships. Actually, we need more money, too. So we can make more ships to rig. Just for fun. Just for fun. And our poor army. Not much to do for them. Until a war starts. So, next turn. Although, I could, guess we could raid ra Sweden up there, too. Make friends all over the place. Left down in their tranquil vale, peasants of Dahl gathered 25 extra food from his timber keep in Nordmark to Petty Nedmark. Nordmark. The Petty Lord is confident he will be much more effective administer to the populace. Uh, 20, plus 25 to stewardship. We received a new regional decision called Arms. And. Arha saw a mighty invasion by Norway after crushing the local militia, pillaging, and murders followed. Oh, we should ordinate a priest somewhere, don't we? But we could go priest, aren't we? I think. 
Yeah, I've got a priest, at least one priest everywhere. Don't really need more. Plus one food, but no farmers. Do some more livestock. I actually get some wool too. More brickworks. More spear maker. More cross. This is more food. Let's make some more. We need more sheep. Right there. Strength 55, strength 27. Raid is only 39, though. So we really don't want to raid those spots. And serious it's gonna run like a supply. Cadgar. Cat catagot. Really? Fine, we'll go back up here. So raiding doesn't actually get us anything concrete, does it? It's more just authority stuff, you think? Next turn. An Orkney, a competent noble with authority, has ordered the construction of village roads. Okay. Received a new regional decision. Develop a region. Yay. So, develop a region. This is to build roads. So, we have another road up there. Dollarburg. Okay. Okay, we now have a pretty good understanding of where Arn loyalty lies. Exact loyalty known as 100%. Very loyal guy. Person, whatever. Resupplied and I'll go back out, I guess.
Ouch. Work. So sheep. Now nah, we're good on food here, I think. Forest clearing. Give us infrastructure. Some, some bonuses because we're not tools. Produces wood. Can't really be imported. I got lots of wood though. Oh, wait a minute. Six are needed, six are consumed, two are produced. So, more wood. Traders Bureau. Local Watch. Mm -hmm. Local Watch will help with the military stuff. So, let's do that. And hopefully, you know, keep some. Eh, we're not going to be raided too much from over there, I don't think. It's pretty far away. Plus two food, still take two turns to get the local watch done. That I can live with that guy. I can't talk today at all. Okay, next turn. Cannot talk. Ugh. This is two turns duration on their ready. We got one turn. So that means that should be disappearing. So raid them. Right? Just keep perpetuating. Raid them. Move down, raid them. And then keep doing circles as long as there's no troops to, to stop us. It's totally fair, right? Heresy. Where did you get here? Oh, Orkney. That's way over there. That's your job over here to deal with this. Why aren't you dealing with this problem? Oh, no shit. It's mine. Since when did I control this? these two? Wow. Nobody told... I thought we had a vassal controlling this stuff. You're a vassal. How come you're not controlling these? Moron. Nobody told me this. Damn it. <laughs> uh... need a rat catcher. No growth because no food. Get the rat catcher done and uh, stuff. So why? Why isn't he controlling? Why don't these fall under him, though? Our vassal. Why don't those territories fall underneath him? Hmm. 
I mean, they're the same color, so why don't I don't understand? Those should be under his control. Whatever. Okay, there's rumor that a shadowy cult operating in Orkney has been spreading heretic, heretical teachings to unsuspecting members of the population. Nice guys. Religious, religious agitators in Orkney are subverting the populace. We will need to burn these heretics. And Heldmark, a competent noble authority, has ordered the construction of village roads. New claim, having found some legitimate ownership deeds, Harold of Norway is requesting the holding of Ribe. Uh, appearance of some heretics. Be sure to produce some stuff. Okay. So, do we have something to do with the heretics? To new faith. That would work. Current population of target regions of the Legionary Nation. Glances. Chances of success will depend on the current piety of the ruler and the presence of a pious governor. Session site like heresy. No. These two? Shit. <laughs> well, hopefully that takes care of that guy. I hate that stuff. Okay, so we'll see what happens. I clicked uh, there accidentally. It might get rid of uh, the troublemaker. We'll see. Oh, well. It was uh, probably my only choice anyway. Next turn. They despite the local defenders, Elfin was raided by Norway and some plunder occurred. Norway managed to convert back a heretic population to its own faith in Orkney. Yay. Food, infrastructure, and money produces indigo for you know, painting faces and stuff. Rat catcher. I think we're gonna grab the rat, rat catcher because you gotta get them when you can. These are much more, more very useful later on when rats start showing up. Uh, cattle ranch. Brickworks, exchange post, another workshop. Do we have one of these already? Everything in range, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's good. Since we have the clay, might as well do the bricks. So. We needed two or consume six are produced. Charcoal burner, more infrastructure, needs wood, water, 
close settlement. Temporary structure. Hmm. Help produce more and produce more and better metal and smelters in the early furnaces with high heat in the right proportions. Soft iron can be made into hard alloy steel. Alloy steel. We don't have any metal production here, though. Do the close settlement, get that out of the way. If not, every sugar military would take care of. Go down here and keep riding on the coast. Make some love us. Maybe not. combat power, it's not a big deal there. We're slightly stronger than that, maybe 57. No, no less than 6 foreign claims against regions of your nation are active. Increase your relations with other nations and ask them to relinquish these claims. Vast Got uh, Master Gotland, for example, as it reflects badly on your authority. But we're not very nice to them. Master Gotland, they're the ones we're raiding, so I'm sure they really appreciate it. Cattle Ranch get more food because we have our grain already. turn so there'll still be a positive food by the time that's done. Why isn't this a province? Why isn't this considered a province? Or whatever they call it in this game. 
this this port. See this little screen? How come we don't get that over there? My vassals are getting a little antsy. Power fifty one, three, seven, two. It's not really that answer. That's thirty eight. It's both though. How come you guys aren't raiding? You guys should be raiding. In other words, we produce uh, one we produce one sail ships as a trading goods. This is not enough to transport our troops effectively. What do you want me to do about it? We now have a good understanding, yeah, nice and loyal eighty four. And saw a mighty invasion of Norway after crushing the local militia, pillaging, and murders followed. So that's what we do. Now we need food. Mining exploitation because we need more metal so we can have more ships. But the Lord's Manor, Men's Lord Manor. Do mining first <laughs> and hope for the best. Shetland status and religious trouble, you know, yeah. So we're still doing farm and rat catcher. Okay, next turn. Four tokens flying through this. They received a progress token and is now standing at four progress tokens. I think we need what five to regress? I think that's what it is. As rumors of Marauder spread, the noble of Dalaberg is. Uh, taking action by ordering the construction of a discreet hamlet to safeguard the region, so temporary structure. If you received a new regional decision, forfeit a claim. Oh, we get to use that on somebody, right? And we, oh, it's on our side, we might draw us an unwanted ward. This decision will cancel it and thus soothing relations with some neighbors. But I don't want to. Wait a minute. That one on, oh, that one's on us, isn't it? Where's authority? Sure.
food store. Surface iron mining. Stakes. Dreaming cottages. Gotta do it. There's enough food without a farmer, so that's fine. Yes, yeah, deplete the food. That'd be fine. Rat catcher and one. Low loyalty. Why do you have low loyalty, Orkney? Negative 24. Because it's very far away. So our vassal here, we should give him... Actually, we should give these him to, to manage. I'm sure he'll do fine with it. Shetland. And in exchange, he can give us some, I don't know, money. Okay, so again, let him take care of it, because I keep forgetting that this stuff is over here. It's too far away for right now, anyway. Let the vassal do it. Just lost some authority for that, I think. I'm not exactly sure. I think that might have been it. Okay, so let's with honor in their tranquil vale. Peasants in Dalaburg gather 25 food. Extra food. Despite his current hold on Oslo, no Norway has abandoned all claim on the region. Perhaps its tenuous ownership explains this. What? Yes, hold on. Norway has abandoned all claim on the region. Oh, that was my own claim. Oops. That was smart. After weeks of troubles, Orkney is, under, is in unrest against Norway. So I screwed that up. So I have no claim on my own capital. Is that really a problem? No real claims. That food again. Oh, that's not my ship. <laughs> Keep clicking on this. This isn't my ship. My ships are up here. Reading good for one more turn. They've got a little army here of 26 combat power. Our fleet is 42, so go raid. Okay, so food is oh, not great. It's only plus three. Smelter. Some nice metal there. Timber keep temporary. Amulet. Let's get the iron going, or the metal production. Gonna hurt our health, infrastructure, and money, but metal. Turn. 
Oslo. Population. Yeah, you know, so you got two population growths next turn. That'll work. That going before that goes over to uh, the vassal. Because I, I don't know if they'll change it or not, but he might. If he does, it does. It's his job, not mine. Okay. You guys are not building up. Oh, you got 56. 13. 92. I had to go up to 92. It was like 84 for the longest time. I didn't recruit anybody, so how'd it go up to 92? Doesn't look like they gained any experience. Something in Norway, we have signed a trade deal, have we? Oh, that's right. He's getting that stuff to take care of, so I don't have to. The cruel twist of fate, Southern has occupied Chetland. Yep, we know that. And Orkney. It's your problem um, now, my, not mine. <laughs> so I lost some manpower generation, but that's not a big deal. Make that up. Still have plus two on the metal. Hard mark. Village. It'll cost us some health, produce some money, get some stewardship, get some manpower. You get some fish, we get a, more, a little bit more money. Doesn't need to eat up a slot because we already have a hamlet, right? Yep. Okay, so. Village or food? It's a village now. Takes three turns. We would have zero growth. It's still three turns. It's always three turns. Okay, so apparently it's supposed to be three turns. So it looks like we keep keep producing our food and uh, still build the hammer in three turns. You guys have the food. Oslo, growth in one turn. You didn't raid here? Because we'll raid him this turn. It's a little army of 26 versus our awesome 57, so no problem. We could put these guys on the border too and do some raiding. Actually, kill these guys. Actually, they can raid from here. <laughs> they'll go right after there, but we'll just make sure that we don't raid. We don't want to raid our vassals. I don't think you will, but just to be sure. Necron, welcome back. Happy Monday. Next turn. I need to improve my manpower growth here. Negative two isn't good.
Yeah, you reached a new regional decision from peasant to freeman, another one of those. So the health of King Harold has degraded to fair. Oh no. And FMO has saw an invasion of Norway. The local forces crushed the. Did it now? How'd that happen? Crushed the invaders. Oh, these guys can't raid. They can only pillage. Pillage the countryside of this region. You pillage the region you are in if you have combat units in the, in the disloyal, non pillage region. So these guys can't actually raid. Boom. Very good Vikings if you can't raid. How'd they, how'd they lose this fight against these losers? for a boat, another boat. Okay, so it's eight gold and one man. Oh, I thought it was more expensive. Oh, that's right, it's only eight. So, we can actually do two of these. Oh, wait a minute, no, we can't. There's a manpower thing. Hmm. Guess we should do some more manpower before we uh, build another boat. We'll see who's guarding down there. Yeah, all kinds of open slots. Uh, let's see. So, doll. Food. Noblest. Otter. Rudimentary earthworks. Do that's temporary structure. Helps us, you know, build more military type stuff there. Or higher level stuff, hopefully. Dalaberg. Horses. Door keep temporary. We actually probably need this for the stewardship. And equipment. Yeah, let's get that done. Yeah, plus 28 on the food. There's plus 6. There's plus 1. Get it down 5 turns still. Still 5. Still six, so five turns to get it done, produce a little bit more food. Oslo. Can we build an Oslo? Horses. Brass, a pewter smelter. That might be a good investment for the future. Levy camp. Uh, let's see. Watch. Church. Probably use a church. Our hamlet. Now we should probably turn it into a hamlet. For the manpower. We need more manpower. So we can get the more ships. So, yes. Turns is it? Three? It's not changing. Still three. Still three. So, hamlet in three. Keep producing that food. And now the ship. Oh, actually, no, that's going to be ready for three. But oh, we can be run negative for a little bit. Now it's going to be, what, plus five? Oh, plus six. So we can get two ships out of that, I think. Manpower upkeep is 3H. So, 
We have yeah, plus three on metal, so we need plus two. We need plus six on people. That's not good. We've got plus 16. Oof, got to get close on the money. But raiding. <laughs> More raiding. Squish these little defenders with their awesome sea forces. Wish I could raid with these guys, though. A lot of uh, crappy loyalty from people. That's fine, I guess. Actually, what's your general's loyalty? We don't know yet. Still don't know the loyalty on our general. This guy's 36. Not the best for the the ships, but I'm sure he's having fun. Had another this guy. Oh, he's a better train. He's better. Oh no, he's not. He's got that zeros for the radiance. We don't want to do that. Defense penalty, chance to die in battle increased. He Have to stay for now. Shouldn't be a problem. Fingers crossed. The problem with the low loyalty is they, you know, may become disloyal and walk away with your fleet. <laughs> so, I'm uh, sorry, float away with your fleet. Hey, I think we just ranked up our kingdom. Because all our tokens just disappeared. I hope we ranked up. Norway's gaining momentum and strength compared to its neighbors. We are a stable, petty kingdom now. Instead of a unstable? Food bonus 10%, character. F no, I thought we had we were, thought we were this already. Norway has received a progress token and is now standing five progress tokens. You've received a regional decision, prospects for resources, that's necessary, or sorry, needed. And we raided, and the defenders were crushed. Pillaging was plundered, followed. There, these guys put you down there. Raid, though. Just in case. Because we'll link up here and then start raiding again. So. Stable patty. So we were technically unstable before? See what the food bonus does for us. So pigs die. Roads, local market, temporary structure, church, storyteller, more legacy. Mm. Choices. Local market is 13. Money. It's not bad. I think we're going to do that because we're only at plus five. So might as well get the local market going. You did it wrong. I didn't. This is how you do it. <sighs> Warg. Please excuse me. That was embarrassing. I meant to say. Jag.
So we're at negative manpower because of the ships we built, but that's going to go to plus two, right? Or something. Should come back up once the uh, thing in Oslo was built, I think is what it was. God, I can't remember this stuff. fleet now is 77, so try to stop us from raiding now with your petty little army there. Pid sorry, not petty. Piddly. <laughs> Piddly is the word I was... Still building all that stuff there. Set. Uh, I really don't have anything else to do. Raiding. Causing trouble. Hey Gimpy, it is time to stop. Your dinner will be ready shortly and Mrs. Gimpy wants to actually talk to you. Make sure you tell everyone to have a great day or evening and we will see them tomorrow. Also, make sure to remind them to hit the follow button and visit your YouTube channel. Okay, so I guess that's going to have to be it for today. After we see what happens after this is done first, though. Okay, so rumors, spread, rumors of Marauder spread the noble of Oslo has taken action by ordering construction of a true de and it's safeguard of losing a region that's a temporary structure military. Despite the local defenders, Elfin Abrilo was raided by Norway and some plunder occurred. Go us. Okay, so it's a good place to stop, I guess. So. Okay, so today. Productive, I guess. We, uh. Technically, didn't finish the Ireland run because I thought the Granite campaign ended at turn 400, and that's what I've been telling everybody. Hit turn 400, and that's going to be it. Turns out, the Granite campaign goes to turn 440. But we stopped at turn 401 because we're okay. Uh, we did fairly well there. Uh, our, considering that Ireland starts with you know one way over here with not the greatest stuff. We still managed to be, what, the second or third largest territory-wise of the empires. Um, we're the second most pious in the world, only behind, uh, of course, uh, Byzantine, who's got a huge lead there. Um, as far as legacy points go, we finished in seventh, which isn't too bad of 185. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, we had we made, we had the we were making the most money. We didn't have the most money because we were spending it all the time. But we we had the big, biggest income, so that uh, allowed us to do what we did. Basically, buy most of England, and we actually even started buying portions of uh, France too. Because you know, once you make friends with them, you just keep buying their territory, so you don't have to punch them in the head for it. But uh, yeah, we had a good portion of uh, England belonged to us, so. Uh, but yeah, it was good. So I, I think I learned a fair amount, and um, hopefully things are going to go better this way with not with uh, Norway. And um, we haven't taken any territories yet, simply because I don't think we don't really have the economy to do it at the moment. Because waging war is you know expensive because it eats up your metal and eats up your manpower, and we don't really have a whole lot. And money wise, not a big deal. So right now we're just. Uh, Raiding the coastline, found out that you have to make people dislike you first before you can raid them. And so we've been insulting our neighbors and raiding them as a result. And we've got a nice little raiding fleet now with, with a whole five ships, but uh, they're getting the job done. Was it? Those are 19. Those are 16. Hmm. The same ships. Why are they higher? Experienced? 
Uh, these might be the newer ones, which is weird. Anyway, not going to worry about it. So anyway, so second run, grand campaign. Now we know it's 440 turns instead of 400. Let's see how this goes. So the plan right now, of course, is to conquer Sweden, probably Denmark, and then we'll probably end up beating up on Scotland first because um, they don't see they don't have any real friends. Sweden actually has a bunch of vassals. This is all Sweden, right? This is Sweden with their vassals right here. This is Norway with their vassals and vassals over here too for Norway. So Scotland is probably going to be our first uh, target more than likely. And we'll probably vassalize that too because it's just better that way, I think. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's just that it's the distance is going to make managing them a little difficult. Not too bad. Well... See, from Ireland to here was not good, because we, you know, we did invade over here, and managing these territories is too far away. This distance obviously isn't as far, so we'll have to see what happens when we start conquering stuff and see what the penalties are for, for the distance. But anyway, we'll find out more next week. So again, if you're here, or sorry, not again, but if you're here specifically for Field of Glory Kingdoms, Norway now, um... We'll be playing this again next Monday. And there's that. Stream scheduled for the next few days. Tomorrow's Tuesday, so Mecha we're online for the first half of the stream. World of Warcraft, the War Within for the second half. Wednesday is Seven Days to Die with Jeff and Ragstone. Thursday, more Mecha we're online and, Rag and World of Warcraft. Friday is Multiplayer Celasta with Hobo, Hurricane, and Jeff. Saturday, World of Warcraft Classic, Season of Discovery Stuff with the main Horde characters where I play Tor and Druid and try to keep everybody alive through my awesome healing skills, which fail me so, so often. So, yes, yes, MechCraft tomorrow and Thursday. And then Sunday, first half of the stream, probably more MechWare Online. Second half of the stream is X4 with the Star Wars Interworlds mod. And the next Monday, back here to Field of Glory Kingdoms. Okay. Oh, also... This weekend of the monthly giveaways for September, giving out a $25 Steam gift card on Saturday and another one on Sunday to a lucky follower of the channel, different person each day, of course. If you have any questions on how that works, be sure you ask before then, and I'll answer. But not today. i got to wait my dinner. So, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Tomorrow's stream starts... Yes, it is what's happening at the end of the stream, Meerkat. Welcome back, though. So tomorrow, stream starts at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT for MechWare Online and World of Warcraft. Thanks again for watching. Have a great evening, great day, wherever you happen to be. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you tomorrow.